Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to troubleshoot SNMP problem on Cisco switch. Sometimes SNMP stop working on a switch and there is no way to restart SNMP process in the Cisco switch. Say for example, if the SNMP stop working on a switch, you might get an alert saying, you know, if you have an alert system, it will alert you this switch is not responding to SNMP. In that case, you can issue this command SNMP walk. This is you can issue from a Linux server SNMP walk and then you put your community string here. This is the read only SNMP community string and then put your switch name and see what it says. If you get this one, say no response from your switch, and if you get a timeout, that means SNMP server stop working on your Cisco switch. And if you try to restart the SNMP process in your switch, in a Cisco switch, there is no command to do that. I am on a switch before and I tried to do SNMP question mark. I only got this one. You cannot stop or you cannot start. And if you put SNMP server question mark, it is an unrecognized command. So there's no command in a Cisco switch for you to restart. This is I was doing on a 3650 kind of latest model in most of the production environment. I don't know whether it's possible in other switch model, but I hope it is not. But I found this way that can restart SNMP process, SNMP server on your Cisco switch successfully i have done this it worked so that's what i want to share with you all because i could not find any cisco forum anybody gave a solution really how to restart snmp process in a cisco switch so i want to share this in my youtube channel so others can get benefited from it what you can do is just go to that switch and do show run include snmp server and get all the commands that you have put in for the SNMP. And what you have to do is just copy and paste and put it on a notepad and then you just put no in front of all of them. And then you just paste it here in your switch. That way you are removing all the SNMP server related configuration from your switch. After this, you have to put back all your SNMP statements again into the switch that will basically restart the snmp server on your switch this is a shortcut to resolve this problem but if this doesn't solve the problem and the snmp stop working again and again other way to do is you schedule a real switch reboot during an off hour that won't impact your customers if you like this video Give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification for useful networking videos.